Oscar and Kira are the parents that created the channel OK Baby. I've talked about them a few times this year as they had a very public breakup and decided to leave their shared family channel behind after they split up. While navigating co-parenting, the two have also been focusing on their individual channels since they're no longer sharing their original channel. The breakup was messy and their fans certainly took sides, leaving Kira with a ton of hate comments in every single post she made on social media for months and months. And still there is hate and people skeptical on supporting her, but it hasn't been as bad as it was in the beginning, but there's definitely a lot still there. Although the two agreed that their breakup was for the best for the both of them, the internet didn't and was upset at Kira for breaking up with Oscar and things got even worse for her when the internet discovered that she later started dating her best friend's fiance, Preston. Some have said that Preston and his ex-fiance, Hannah, were actually married, but I'm not too sure on that. All I know is that Preston and Hannah are not together anymore, and Preston is with Kira now. Kira recently admitted to being in this relationship in a series of Instagram stories where she wanted to clear up a lot of the drama and speculation that has been thrown her way this year. I talked about this in my last video, but she said, I did not cheat on Austin. Oscar, we had a ton of problems behind the scenes and had a few times prior to this that we almost broke up, which also includes him leaving me. Preston did not leave Hannah for me. Hannah and I are no longer friends, although I truly love her and think she's one of the best people to ever walk this planet. I am dating Preston and we have been seeing each other since March of this year. Sometimes friends that are there for you in tough situations turn into more. And now that she has admitted to this relationship and it's not a secret anymore, people wanted to know if Oscar was now going to start spilling his side of the story of the breakup. Since he hadn't said too much about what's gone on in Kira's life, he did kind of have a slip up one time on Instagram live though. He was in Orlando, he was visiting Kira's former best friend Karen and her husband Kwa, and he kind of slipped during the live and made it known that Kira was seeing someone. Uh, does Kira have a boyfriend? I don't know. I don't know if it's official. <laughs> oh, turn that shit off, dude. <laughs> turn that shit off right now. I'm too drunk. Get off of there, Karen. <laughs> Karen, turn that shit off. I'll do it. <laughs> great, you've been on Instagram. All right, guys. Love you. You guys are all great. But. But after that, he hadn't talked about her personal life again. I'm sure they probably had a little argument about that because she did not want it to be known she was seeing someone because she was already getting so much hate before people found out that she was with Preston. But once people found that out, she was getting even more hate on top of that. And so people were wondering if now that Kira has spoken out about it and admitted to her relationship with Preston, if Oscar was going to come out and start being petty or start talking about Kira and Preston now that it's all out in the open. And he wanted to address this whole thing and answer a few questions when he went live the other day while he was having dinner. Oh, oh will I ever mention Kira and uh, Preston? She's mentioned it. I'm going to leave that up to her. I'm going to leave that up to her. All I'll say is, I got no problems. I wish them the best. I hope they do their thing. And that's it. Like, why would I wish badly on them? If anything, if they had a bad relationship, that's gonna affect my kids because they're around my kids. So I hope the best for them. I hope everything goes well. And yeah, that's really it. Okay, so he's saying he doesn't have a problem with that. I mean, I think his answer was mature, and it's true. If there is bad blood between the three of them. That only affects the kids in a negative way, and I think no matter what the internet might think about the situation and Kira and how Oscar should feel, at the end of the day, if everyone is on good terms and the kids are taken care of, that's all that should matter. Oscar did admit to being petty in the past, but says that he has processed things and he isn't trying to be that way anymore. I definitely have my petty moments, and thankfully I've had time to process it before I talk about it. And so, yeah. It is what it is, but I have done some petty stuff. Like, it, I was, I'm still not perfect, and I still say dumb things sometimes. I still get upset with certain things, but I'm working on it. 
I had mentioned before that Oscar had kind of gotten pretty publicly petty before when him and Kira were still sharing their OK Baby YouTube channel, and he made one of the titles Family Pictures Look Better Now. So oh, I'm well. sure that's definitely one of the petty moments that he is talking about that he has done. Now, he does go on to talk about how much hate Kira got this year and said that he does feel bad that that happened. He sees that people have supported him and it's been nice, but that doesn't come without some guilt as she's really been through the ringer. Like, I feel like honestly the internet really like did a number on Kira this year and like to the point where I feel guilty. Like, I, I might have told you guys this before, but I don't even know. Like there's been a few times where I want to make a video and be like, hey guys, let's cut this up. Like let's cut the hate out. Let's stop it. It's gone too far. Like. She's still the mother of my children, I respect her, and like I get it why you guys are upset, and I love you guys, and I appreciate that so many people support me to that extent, but at the same time, like, it, it really affects her, and um, yeah, I don't know, like, I just felt bad. He said he felt like if he had made a video telling people not to hate on her, she might have actually gotten more hate, so he decided not to. I talked about it with her, and um, well, it was mainly me who came up with this conclusion, I feel like people would just hate on her more for that. And so I was kind of hoping that like over time it would just die down, but it has. And I could totally see people commenting on the video, speculating whether or not Kira had forced him to make a video if he made one that was defending her, even though he's saying right here that he wanted to make one himself. I think he saw the hate and how it affected her, and despite people feeling like she deserved it or what she has done was messed up, regardless, I think Oscar is thinking about his kids and doesn't want them to see her upset at the end of the day, and that's why he would want to help her out like that. I also do think that he has a lot of care for her despite everything because they basically did grow up together and they spent all this time making a life together. And even if someone hurts you, there can still be care there, whether people feel like it's deserved or not. And within the same week that Oscar was talking about Kira and Preston and Kira's mental health and feeling bad, Kira wanted to address her current mental health state in a recent vlog that she did on her channel. This year has obviously brought on a lot of new obstacles with my mental health just from going through a separation with the father of my children and somebody that I really do care about and appreciate and that I've spent the last seven years of my life with. So that was really hard and then obviously this YouTube channel that we worked on together as a family for seven, eight years, we stopped doing. The millions of hate comments that I still receive on a daily basis. And then just like what normal life throws at you, like it's just difficult having four kids bringing them through that um, and it being my choice and feeling responsible for that and feeling guilty for that but also feeling like it's the right choice I just it was mentally a really hard year she said that she was in such a down place at the beginning of the year following her breakup with Oscar but things have changed for her and as the year comes to a close she is doing a lot better I've always just been very hesitant but I was so desperate in the beginning of the year I just wanted to be able to get up in the morning and like be a decent mom so I did end up taking antidepressants and I was not like I was okay with it it's what I needed at the time but I did not want to be on it forever I just don't think I need to be no judgment for people that are I just feel like I wanted to figure out if I could handle it without those so I stopped taking it probably like the end of summer and I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm finally starting to come out of this like haze and this like dark year if you will like I feel like I'm finally starting to wake up in the morning and just feel like genuinely happy feel like myself I don't wake up and dread the day or the comments I'm gonna see or like any of that I think these two are finally settled in their lives apart from each other and time has allowed them to figure things out peacefully people in the comments though still seems skeptical on supporting Kira, and she seems to be understanding of that. Someone commented under the vlog where she's talking about her mental health and said, I know you don't owe us it or anyone for that matter, but I really think you should do a sit down video Q&A and just get everything off your chest. Say it once, let it out and move on. I'm kind of on the fence when it comes to your content, etc. but I think a lot of people would respect you more and move on from all the things that are being speculated about. And Kira replied saying, I've actually made a ton of content talking about my truth and unfortunately, there are a lot of people who choose not to see it, genuinely do miss it, and still make assumptions. Just don't see it, 
Or just plain old like to spread rumors and drama, haha. I totally understand that you're on the fence with my content and appreciate you choosing to click this video and leave a comment. Now I think at the end of the day, as long as her and Oscar are getting along for the kids sake and they're all seemingly happy and healthy, whatever happened in the past, although messed up, it's just that, it's in the past. Kira is moving on and trying to be happy in her life. Oscar is doing the same. Kira is trying not to focus on the hate and maybe the hate train will kind of tone down because she's not feeding into it. And also because she has kind of laid everything out there that she has to say. And because Oscar is now saying that he would like the hate to stop. A lot of people were coming for Kira because they were doing it out of support for Oscar. But I think if they really want to support him, I think that they should listen to what he wants and it's for Kira to be good probably so their kids can be good as well and everything will be peaceful. But I guess we'll see if things change going forward, if the hate train will tame down. But as of right now, that's what's going on with these two. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.